It can process more than two million bits of information in one second. It doesn't forget anything you've ever seen or anything you've ever heard, which is why it's important to make sure you don't put the wrong things in there because they always will impact upon you subconsciously and consciously. But to give you some idea of how complex your brain is, how many of you remember your birthday? Let me just see your hand. I think it's unanimous. Now, what did your brain have to do for you to respond to that question almost instantly? Well, first of all, sound waves have to leave my lips, travel through the air, enter your external auditory meatus, travel down to the tympanic membrane, set up a vibratory force, which travel across the ossicles of the middle ear to the ovum and round window, set up a vibratory force in the end of the lymph, which mechanically distorted the microcilia, converting mechanical energy to electrical energy, which travel across the cochlear nerve to the cochlear nucleus at the pontomedullary junction, from there to the superior olivary nucleus, ascending bilaterally of the brainstem to the lateral meniscus to the inferior colliculus and the mini geniculate nuclei, across the thalamic radiation to the posterior temporal lobes, to begin the auditory process of relative to the frontal lobe, coming down the track to Victor Jury, retrieving the memory from the immediate hippocampal stroke to the mammary bodies, back to the frontal lobes to start the motor response at the bed cell level, coming down the cortical spinal tract, across the internal capsule, into the cerebral feed level, descending down to the cervical medullary decussation, so you can raise your hand.